The Bank of Industry, as a development finance institution, is contributing its quota by ensuring that Nigerian large, medium, small, and micro enterprises fulfill their strategic roles in the country by providing financial and technical support to the entrepreneurs. Tonight's edition of BOI Impact will feature two of BOI's fund beneficiaries, one in Delta and the other in Quara State. Let's start from Delta State, where the BOI Impact crew visited Anudu Plastics Limited, a leading plastic manufacturing company that entered into the industry through the acquisition of a plant at number 26 Amechi Anudu Street, Akwe Bulum Layout, Asaba, in 1993 and commenced business in 1996. The major business of the company is production of flexible packaging materials and recycling of polythene byproduct. It also produces industrial waste bags, bread covers, drug wraps, table water wraps, and a lot more. The company has grown over the years as a result of its good product and management system. Welcome to this week's edition of BOI Impact as we visit Anodo Plastic Management and it's about 300 workers. I am Hadiza Olao Shibiko. Plastic and nylon production business is a very lucrative business that can be ventured into in Nigeria and make real profits. The market for plastics and nylon is quite big due to its high demand by individuals and businesses that have the need to package items for domestic and industrial purposes. Anudu Plastics Limited is one of the companies in Delta State that ventured into the business and is doing quite well through the support of the Bank of Industry. The vision of Anudu Plastics Nigeria Limited is to become one of the biggest producers of plastic packaging materials products within and outside Nigeria. During our visit to the company, the managing director and founder, Amechi Anudu, who have been in manufacturing industry for more than 25 years, shared his experience in the plastic manufacturing sector. Generally, manufacturing is not easy. You are faced with day-to-day -day challenges. And um, been in manufacturing for more than 25 years, we try to somersault each and every challenge. We look at it as solving problems. Whatever problem that comes, we solve the problem and move on. We have washing and drying. In fact, we pay some people to pick waste from the street. So we wash, we dry, we recycle, and then use back into the system. We use it to produce garbage bags. Our garbage bag is 100% recycled. We sell some, but we consume 80% of our recycled material. We add more value to the system. We reduce unemployment. I think that is um, what we can contribute to Nigeria. It's like giving back to Nigeria. We want to be an option. We don't look at our company as if we are competing with others. We want to create an option for people to choose. It's just like uh, eating a goosey soup, a goosey soup every day. I look at it, one have to try bitter leaf soup. So we want to create an option. Oh, you have been using this. Can you use us? Mr. Anudu spoke on the quality of machines used in the company and how he was able to acquire nylon and plastic producing machines through the help of BOI and the impact of BOI support on the business. We use world-class equipment. We believe in quality. We don't compromise. We have multinationals as customers. 
We have Niger Biscuit as a customer. We have uh, Golden Oil. Golden Oil is the biggest oil producer in Nigeria. Our priority is to make quality as our number one. We use the best of raw material. Then we have the best expertise. We have been here for the past 25 years. Right? We are using the best equipment. When you come to printing, you see our printing machine. Winmola is the best you can get in the world. You go to our lamination, not mechanical is number one. And that's what we are using. You go to our extrusion with Mola. And that is number one in the whole world. And that's what we are using. We believe in quality. We don't compromise. We only have three expatriates. And then how many Nigerians? Close to 300 Nigerians. Without Bank of Industry, the beam wouldn't have been achieved. Before Bank of Industry, we were around 190. But now we are going to 300. So it's like adding another 100 Nigerians. So we're moving 100 Nigerians out of the streets. After the interview, the operations manager, Eniola Fashionotti, showcased the production process of the company and how it converts plastic waste into plastic products. Our operations started from the re receipt of raw material. Our raw materials are polyethylene materials. There are different types of raw material under the polyethylene. We have the low density polyethylene, we have high density polyethylene, and we have linear low polyethylene and then metallocene. Um, the start of the operation is start from the mixing, where these polyethylenes are mixed together to form different type of material uh, based on the kind of material and the type, the type of blow field we want to make. After the mixing, the, the mixed materials, they are taken to the extrusion machine. The type of extrusion machine we are using here, they are five layers extrusion machine, whereby the mixed material, they are poured inside the upper, and from the inside, from the upper, they move to the extruder. When the extruder melts, the mixed material they are in the form of fillet, but in the extruder they are being melted down, they are in the molten state, and from the extruder they move to the die, where all the five layers are mixed together, they form a blown film. And then from the blown film we have a lay flap, which flatten the blown film into a flat film. And from the flat film, it goes into the, a roller, which roll into a, uh, a road film. Then from the road film, they are taken to our store. And then this road field, they, they can be used for different type of things. They can be used for pure water, they can be used for yogurt, they can be used in lamination. And then after this process of extrusion and forming a blow film, we go to the printing side. And the capacity of our extrusion machine is 20 tons per day. 20 tons per day extrusion machine. And then from the extrusion, we move to the printing machine. We have, at the printing, apart from the, the road film, we got from our extrusion. We also have some other raw materials we are using with this uh, blow film. We have the BOPP. These are the main raw material of the printing machine. Our printing machine capacity is 400 meters per minute line speed. It produces 400 meters of roll in one minute. That's the capacity of our printing machine. And in, at the printing machine, our printing machine is eight colors printing machine. It has the capacity of printing eight colors on this BOPP. And uh, after printing on the BOPP, we take the, the, uh, the, the finished material from the printing machine to our, to our lamination. The lamination also has the same capacity as our printing machine, about 400 meters uh, per minute line speed. At this point, we have different materials. We have the, our poly, polythene, that's the, the blown field we have gotten from extrusion, and the BOPP we, do, we got from the printing machine. They have been gummed together to form a, a laminate. And then after that, we, we take it to the, our slitting machine, where they are being slitted to the customer specification. And from the uh, uh, slitting machine, they are being taken to the customer's factories. Then all the waste we generated from the extrusion, from the printing, from the lamination, from the slitting, they are being taken to our recycling station, where they are being reprocessed 
to another material, material and this material sometimes we use it for our own personal use sometimes we sell it to other factories where they are being processed to other form of uh, finished products to other customers so we generate minimal waste but most of our waste are being recycled and the, the capacity of our recycling machine is about 15 tons per day recycling machine.